ha, beautiful Jew gets abducted into a movie, as if that would happen in reality, right? Whoa, 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 no, no, whoa, no. Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and in this video, I'm going to talk about all beautiful Joe games for the Nintendo GameCube. Beautiful Joe is a side scroller beat em up. You play as Joe, whose girlfriend gets kidnapped by a movie. And then Joe gets into his jumpsuit and goes after her. And the dude has superpowers too. Not just punching and kicking, but he can slow down time or make time go faster. And this is useful in puzzles. And the slowdown feature is useful in combat too, and makes for some nice looking finishers. The cell shaded graphics and the comic book style look give a certain unique air to the game, and overall the gameplay feels unique. I mean, the combination and the way the game plays makes it into a unique experience. It's a great blend between retro and modern titles, a great blend between the classic beat'em up formula and innovative ideas. Beautiful Joe 2 is the sequel, and in my opinion it's bigger and better. You get to play with two characters, Joe and his girlfriend Sylvia, which you can change at will, and each one has unique moves. The combat feels even more dense, it's not just button mashing, each character has a different strategy to be defeated, and you have to use the time ability and the other attacks to your advantage, just like in the first one. But here, the unique features and all the unique attacks are even more prominent. I mean, you can see the originality of the game shining brighter than in the first one, which is cool. In Beautiful Joe Red Hot Rumble, Captain Blue wants to make a movie and has to cast for the lead role. And for him, casting means putting people to battle each other and the most hard ass of them gets the role. In short, the story in the game is a series of battles. What is nice about the battles is that they are not like the classic old school formula of just beating up your opponent. As battle objectives, you might have to destroy as many enemies as possible, be the last one standing, defeat a boss, collect more coin than your opponent, and fun fact, even if the game tells you to do something, you get rated for how much coin you've collected. Winning means to have the most coin, and you get coin either by collecting it in some levels and dodging the environment and that wants to kill you, or beat the crap out of your opponent because if you hit him or her, he'll lose coin. There are 16 characters in the game and diverse battle stages, though some of the levels have poor designs. They get confusing, so confusing that the hectic action makes it hard to process what is going on on screen, so you just end up mashing buttons and hoping for the best. The controls are nice and responsive, you have the normal attack buttons and you can also unleash special attacks and you also get power ups. Ok so this was the video, if you liked it please hit the like button and subscribe, if you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord, I've left the links to those in the video description. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and till we read thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching!